iMessage is getting a huge revamp in iOS 16 with a bunch of new features that we've all been begging Apple to give us for years. Unsending messages, editing messages, marking threads as unread, and more. Let me give you a look at the changes, how they work, and when you can, and more importantly, can't use them. All right, let's start with one of the big ones, editing messages. This is the feature that allows you to do things like fix your typos, add extra information, and manually correct, autocorrect. So if someone says, hey, what do you wanna get for dinner? And you're really wanting Chinese, so you reply, let's grab noodles. But then you look at your phone and you actually sent, let's grab poodles. Well, as fun as that might be to run around town trying to pet random dogs, you wanna just clarify the typo. Now, instead of sending a face palm emoji and a follow-up text, you can just tap and hold on the message, choose edit, and correct that text so that it says what you wanted to communicate in the first place. Now, the caveat here is that after sending a message, you only have 15 minutes to edit it. You can't go back to a message from an hour ago, earlier in the day, or last week, and make edits to those. This is all about fixing messages so that they say what you meant them to say. Also, if you do edit a message, it will show to everyone else in the thread that it's been edited by adding a label underneath it, likely for the sake of transparency. Next, there's unsending messages. This is for when you accidentally send the wrong message to the wrong person or group, or you think better of something you sent and want to take it back. The same thing applies here. Find the message you sent and tap and hold on it. Simply select unsend and it will pull the message back whether it's already been read by the other person or not. I've seen a small bit of confusion here with people saying they've already been able to delete messages from iMessage threads for years. So to clarify, when you delete a message from your phone, all you're doing is deleting it from your own devices. The message still stays on the devices of whoever you sent it to. When you unsend, you're removing the message from all ends of the conversation. It disappears from your devices and from the devices of anyone who received it. The same time limit applies here too. After sending a message, you have a 15 minute window where you can unsend it, removing it completely from existence. After that 15 minute window is up, the message stays in the conversation thread, but of course you can still delete it from your own devices. And again, remember, it does mean it stays on the devices of everyone else you sent it to. Also, when you unsend a message, there will be a label that appears that lets everyone know that you performed that action. Again, for the sake of transparency. No gaslighting here. Next, let's quickly talk about mark as unread. Have you ever read a message that you don't have time to respond to or that you wanted to get back to later and that you just simply forget? Mark as unread is here to help. Simply swipe right on any message thread and choose the mark as unread option to put that blue dot back on the message, reminding you that it's something you need to pay attention to or come back to at a later time. Now let's get into SharePlay. SharePlay is a feature that allows you to watch or listen to media with friends remotely, synced up in real time, and it works with a whole bunch of different apps. For example, let's say you're watching a movie on Disney Plus and you wanna watch it together with a friend. Right now, you'd start a FaceTime session with the people you wanna watch with, and from there, you can start the SharePlay session. In iOS 16 though, that FaceTime call is no longer required and you can instead start a SharePlay session right from within messages. This means you don't have to stay connected on FaceTime for the duration of that Disney Plus movie and instead can just watch it together while messaging. Up next, let's talk about the new collaboration features coming to messages. Starting in iOS 16, you'll be able to invite others to collaborate on things like notes, presentations, reminders, Safari tab groups, documents, and more. This isn't just texting a link to a document to others though. Messages will track things and give info on the collaboration changes by doing things like putting a banner at the top of the message thread when someone edits a shared document and offering to take you right into the document to show you exactly what was changed. This is great for couples and households managing everyday documents as well as small groups like an HOA 
or a few people planning a party or vacation to all share access to planning documents. All of these features only work in iMessage as SMS doesn't support this, it never has and it never will. And it's great to see Apple continuing to make messages even more useful. Oh, and I almost forgot one more super small feature that will make SMS messages way less annoying. iOS 16 will support tap back icons even in SMS, which means we no longer have to put up with the tap back spam when someone adds a thumbs up or a heart on an SMS text. Instead, it'll appear the way it does in iMessage threads, the way it was always meant to be. Which iMessage feature is your favorite? Let me know in the comments and I'll meet you there for further discussion. Thanks for watching as always, guys. I appreciate your support. I'm Andrew Webwards and I'll catch you in the next video.